This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Quick Turn 2D design for the Denford lathes. Um, this is like a wizard software. Um, I prefer to have the students myself uh, do the G coding on their own, but I just wanted to show, do a run through on this one if you need to make something quick. So first of all, we start off with the billet length. Uh, my, mine's going to be 100 millimeters long and the diameter is 25 and it's a solid as opposed to a tube. So you click OK and then it brings, the, brings it up and you can see the dimensions here. If you scroll in you can see that's 100 millimeters. It's pretty basic software but it works quite well. You, you click on uh, add line tool. Here's the different tools up here for drawing and I'm just going to come in. There's many other tools. I'm just going to concentrate on these ones today. So I could bring this up, just design something, maybe a step pin something like this. And I can use radiuses too, and I'm not going to bother. Now I'm going to end it right here. And go up and click the line tool to get rid of it now, or escape rather. Now if you notice here, the deepest my cutter is going to go is 57 millimeters. That means that when you put it in the chuck, it's not going to travel past this point. So if you measure from the tip down 57 millimeters and then give yourself a little extra, maybe 5 or 6 millimeters, you then you don't, won't worry about coming into contact with the chuck. So. Now what I do is I'm going to go into Options screen, I'm going to click Material Options, and I'm going to click Aluminum, and I'm going to make it uh, make an aluminum material, click OK, now the material is made out of aluminum. Now we're going to go to the Machine Tooling, and we're going to select which ones we want to use. I want the right hand turning tool, I'm not, nothing, nothing else is selected, just the right hand to, turning tool, and we click, o you can go into there if you want to, and you can edit some things in there, roughing and finishing. In this case I'm going to use it for both roughing and finishing. Now. Click OK, and I'm going to go back in for a second into the materials options, and I'm going to go and I'm going to find under tool feeds and speeds, I'm going to find my right hand turning tool, which is right here, right hand turning, and I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to change it to feed per revolution. Sometimes it's set uh, to uh, feed rate per minute, and other times it's uh, set to feed per revolution. I'm keeping it congruent with my class. I teach my class always feed per revolution, so that's selected. The depth cut is uh, 700 microns. That's a bit much. I'm going to go to something like, uh, say, 400 microns, 0.400 microns. The machine will do more, but there's no point in beating the machine up nor the carbide, although carbide does need to be under a load. Um, for my finishing, 200 microns is probably pretty good. Um, 36 is fine for uh, 36 microns per revolution forward. I'll leave that. It stays at 2800 spindle speed at both. I'm going to leave it at that. I click OK. Click OK. Now what I do is I'm going to go up into Generate, Cam Wizard. That's the part it's going to look like when it's done. These buttons here are just they don't have any impact on the final post processing. All they're doing is showing you the colors. Um, I'm going to leave it for aluminum right now. Click Next. Billet length if you wanted to you could change it in here right now. I'm going to leave it the same and we're not using a tailstock. Click Next. You can see I've selected roughing and finishing on Tool 1. Next. Click Next again. Now here, um, name it something that I'm going to remember where it is. And you can also locate the file right now. I'm going to put it on the desktop so I can find it later on. I'm going to save it. Post process it. Comes in and shows you where it's going to go. It's an inverted tool, of course. It's coming in from the back side. And now you click Next, and you can actually come here and simulate it. You click View, Simulation, and you can watch now and see. Again, it's not going any deeper than this, so you know your chuck is safe. It's doing the roughing passes, finishing, and then it returns home, and it's good. Again, this you come back here. You can check dimensions in here. You can scroll in and out. Um, there's another many, many other options, but those are all the options you need if you want to get turning quickly.